array. This is my experimental light sensor array. So what I have here are three uh, five millimeter photoresistors uh, plugged into the Arduino, each one going to a different analog input uh, pin. And essentially what I've got going on is a uh, trying to find a way to detect the direction of light intensity um, for an eventual uh, solar tracking array. Uh, basically what I want to do is have a solar array that tracks the sun. Um, so if we can zoom in a little bit closer here and you can see what I've got going on. So um, I've got one of the rails on this breadboard uh, plugged into 5 volts uh, over here on the back side and then from that I have each one of these uh, photoresistors plugged into the to that rail. Um, they are then moving along to a 100, uh, 100 ohm resistor which then comes over to this other rail on the other side of the breadboard going to ground, uh, essentially completing uh, the circuit. Um, the way a photoresistor works is the more light that it detects the less resistance it has and uh, you can actually read that resistance with the analog input on the on the Arduino. And that's what these pins are. The yellow, the blue, and the orange pin are sitting in line on that circuit and they're able to uh, read the change in resistance depending on the, the light value or the light saturation on the, on the photoresistor. So uh, basically what that looks like uh, once you get the code put together is something like this. And we'll come up here to uh, my serial monitor and as you can see I've got a, a light pin right, center, and left and I have them reading every three seconds. You could do it a lot faster if you needed uh, uh, a uh, less of a delay in your in your updates to uh, to react faster to changes in light but I've used three seconds so you can actually read it here without it scrolling past too quickly and I'll just give you a quick sample if I cover up photosensor right, you'll see now that it's got a significantly lower reading than center or left. It's in the 20 range. I'll move over and cover up center. You'll see that uh, photosensor right is jumping back up and center is now uh, much lower. And then now left. Again you see the change. And fully exposed to light. All three of them go back to a higher reading. Anyway, this is uh, just the first step in putting together a much more complex Arduino project, but uh, so far so good. Till next time.